Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a cello pack break, prison basketball cello pack break number 82. And here we're giving away four in that big uh, sharpshooter mixer. I think we have to do cello pack 83 and sell out a handful of spots and then we're in Breaksville. We can work on that and get into that tonight. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Good luck. There are the teams right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a two, five times for each list. All right. After five times, we got... This is for the break first. Sorry, I should have explained that. If you're new to this, we always do the break first and then the giveaway spots, just like break credit. Well, that'll all, It's always a randomizer at the end of the break, end of the video. Three and a two, five times for the teams. Fifth and final time. Boston Celtics down to the Golden State Warriors. All right, so let's. I'm just going to show you all the teams, just kind of as is right here. Chad Meyer, Pelicans, nice. Steve Birch, Grizzlies in this one. There you go. And there's the rest of the list right here. McCarthy with the Nuggets. McCarthy was asking about Bradley Beal. Oh, that's the card you got in the Investor Pack. Yeah, Bradley Beal's pretty solid. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan's correct. He's the face of the the Washington Wizards. I think, if I'm being completely honest, I want to say that Bradley Beal maybe, at the time, the first uh, first couple years or so, maybe people weren't thinking that he was he was going to be good. But I feel like in the last year or two, he has really emerged as. Um, as a really solid player, you know, a great scorer. So I think his his stuff has been going up, um, going up in recent times. But yeah, he's underrated. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I think there was a, there was some chatter about oh maybe the maybe the Lakers would uh you know. Would, would trade for him or something like that? I think if Bradley Beal was in a big market. Oh, I guess John Wall going down must have... That's That's got to be it. I think John Wall going down kind of made him the number one scoring option. So I think that, that has to have helped his, his stock playing-wise and, um, and hobby-wise too. Nick's saying that that 12-13 prism is also... Tough to find and grade. All right, here we go. So, oh, green Kobe White. That's not bad. Maybe a silver Zion? No, silver Brandon Clark. Who's not too shabby? That goes to Steve Birch and the Grizz. And nowadays, and that's why hoops this year and last year has become so popular. Like, Brandon Clark, you may think, I, don't, I thought it was all about John Moran, but this Brandon Clark's not too bad either. You know, and if, and if he becomes like a second or third scoring option behind like John Moran, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Brandon Clark, something like that. You know, Bulls are rebuilding. So if, if like Kobe White, Lori Markkinen start to emerge, I mean, that's a, that's a strong one-two punch right there. Nice Giannis and Kevin Durant. So, and listen, I mean, it's supply and demand, right? How many, how many people are on a basketball team? You know, five, five regular starters plus a few other players that rotate in. You know, this goes to the Bucks, Jeremy 33. So then once you start talking like that, then it's, it takes less time for a player to like suddenly emerge and, you know, and go off in a game or something like that and then increase their value especially hobby-wise. Baseball, you got to wait for them to grind through the minors and then make it to the big club and then become a regular starter and becomes a little bit difficult. That's a different kind of collecting, though. You can still make a lot of money on baseball. But everyone, ha every sport has their own like little quirk. All right, let's give away some mixer spots. I think Mike Tower was reporting that Cello 83 and the mixer sold out. Maybe it's pretty close to... All right, maybe, that's, that, maybe we'll get that on the schedule at some point. 
All right, so I copied all the names in here. Top four after six. One and a five, six times. Top four after six. And six. Good luck. Thanks, everyone, for giving this shot. Top four is James Beadle, James Beadle, Jonathan, and Chad. There you go. So congrats to the top four right here. Really appreciate everybody else giving this a shot. Thank you very much. I'm Joe. I'll see you for that mixer a little bit later tonight. Bye-bye.